This is my nail art design entry to 69 Uretta's African themed nail art design contest. And these are my little African masks and they're inspired by this painting. I've used a whole plethora of different nail polishes to create this design. And they all have little rhinestone eyes that kind of make them glitter. And here, let me show you the other hand. The other hand is exactly the same, it's just a mirror image. So here they all are all together. And I'm just so happy with how these turned out. And this is my entry. So this is the look we're going for. For the base colors on my nails, I used Sinful Colors Nail Art in Morning Breath, long, NYC Long Wearing Nail Enamel in 112A, the Color Workshop by Marquins Nail Polish in an unnamed color that is brown, really, brown, Berry M Nail Paint in Bright Purple, and China Glaze in Rainstorm. It took several coats of this one and of this one to get the desired color. Okay, so we're going to start by painting the thumb on this hand. And the thumb has a base of Sinful Colors Nail Art in Morning Breath. And the thumb has detailing in Sinful Colors Professional in Black on Black, Sinful Colors Professional in Snowy White, and Sinful Colors Nail Art in Anxious Azure. So we're going to start with the black. So we finished outlining the black on this face. So now we're going to move on to the other nails. And the other nails, I painted the rough outlines of the face before I painted the detailed outlines. So we're going to start by doing that. On the orange, I'm going to use uh, Sinful Colors Nail Art in Worn Before. And on the brown, I'm going to use the Sally Hansen French White. Uh, it's because it's very sheer and it's not really going to overpower the brown. On the purple, I'm going to use uh, NYC Long Ring Nail Enamel in 112A. The blue, I didn't outline either. With the brown nail on this hand, I first did the outlines of the face in black and then I later went over them in the Sinful Colors Nail Art Morning Breath, which is the yellow. So I'm going to first outline the face in black and then I'm going to go over it in yellow. And I'm gonna, The reason I'm doing the brown first is because that's the one I painted the white on first, so it'll be dry first. And it doesn't need to be completely dry to move on to the next step, but, you know, whatever. So now we're done with this guy. I'm going to do the same uh, outline in black on the index finger and slightly different ones in white on the ring and pinky fingers. Because as you can see, both of these guys have the same uh, oval, half ovals, semicircles on their chin, forehead, and cheeks. And uh, my ring finger. Uh, has just the basic eyes, nose, mouth, and then he has the white dots on his cheeks and the swirl on his forehead. And this guy has the basic eyes, nose, mouth, and then he has uh, 
two little lines in white are swaying in various directions on his cheeks and forehead. So I'm going to fill those in and I'll be right back with you. So this is where we are right now. And now we're going to go in. We're going to do some detailing that's specific to each one. On the yellow nail, we're going to do the blue detailing. On the orange nail, we're going to do the green detailing inside the cheeks and forehead and chin. Uh, on the brown nail, we're going to go over with the yellow. On the purple nail, we're also going to do some yellow detailing. And on the blue nail, we're going to go in with a dark blue. I'm going to start with doing the yellow on the brown nail. So we're going to go over the black, and then we're going to fill in the cheeks and the chin. Okay, so I finished the yellow detailing on the brown nail, and I'm going to move on and I'm going to do the yellow detailing on the purple nail. Now we're going to finish this yellow nail, and we're going to add the blue. We're going to do the green detailing on the orange nail. So we're going to fill in his cheeks, and we're going to fill in his chin and his forehead. Now I'm going to go in with white because uh, to detail. And now the only things that we have left to do are the dark blue detailing. All done, yay. So now I've got these all done to match this hand, except for the other hand still needs rhinestones on the eye and a top coat. So I'm going to top coat, dot on the rhinestones, and do another top coat when that dries, and then we'll be done. Woo! And now we're all done with a great African mask inspired nail art design. Oh my gosh, just look at the little guys. They're so they're so funky and cool. I couldn't believe how cool the painting was that inspired them.